Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas. Today's episode is what's coming for this summer. Now I've been here in Southern California for the last three weeks shooting content with Aaron. We've been to LA County, Orange County, even down to San Diego County to pick up boards. As you can see, we're well stacked for the summer on the boards we've got in the queue for review. This is gonna be fun. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Now the first place I want to start is the G-Skate by Channel Island Surfboards. And I got a great direct message from Dane Godowska saying, no, let's do an episode together. I'll get Tanner and Pat. Let's go shred some small waves. And I thought there is nothing better to come down, get into some groveling conditions and give the G-Skate a go. Now, it was pretty funny. The water's 51, 52. The waves were small. It was clean. Only a few people out. And Tanner was already there ahead of us, absolutely ripping. And then Dane and Pat and I paddled out. We got to stay a bit longer and we were having a great time, not only surfing on the G-Skate, but just really connecting with the three of them, how they designed the board together. There was some awesome clips of them absolutely ripping in Hawaii. I'm gonna love this first episode. It's gonna be like an episode of all, all four of us surfing together and just an introduction of how the G-Skate goes in small waves. Now the next place, Aaron and I drove down to San Diego to visit Javier at XTR Epoxy Pro Surfboards. Javier's so smart and he's been doing epoxy surfboards for years. He's got his new construction. It's called XTR 10, which is an extruded foam. And I saw him post something on his Instagram where he actually took a truck and took one of the XTR 10 foams and ran it over. And the whole point was to show the durability of the foam. Now I have ridden some of his stuff in the past and for me it was next level, it has great flex. They're actually customizing flex. So this is the Red Tiger that you guys have been requesting for me to get for review. It has carbon down the middle on both top and bottom and we talk about why we've got carbon there. And then he's also got the G-Skate in a different um, carbon layup on the same XTR10 foam, and that's gonna have a different flex pattern and feel too. Now, I'll probably start with riding both these boards at Waco, putting them through the paces, see how the foam feels. I'm really looking forward to this episode. I think you guys are gonna be stoked to learn more about this construction. Now I mentioned that we're doing the Red Tiger. I have one in PU Poly. Aaron and I drove down to Pizel and we started to work on the White Tiger review. Now this is a bit of a groveler and the whole time, I would say roughly three weeks that we've been here, the waves have been pretty small. So this was the ideal board for the conditions. This is a um, Stringard EPS epoxy. I'm having a blast on this board. We went down there to Pizel to find out what's the difference with the white tiger compared to the gremlin. I know you guys are already asking me that questions. We're gonna cover that in the review. This review is gonna be coming out pretty soon. I think you guys will be stoked to learn about the white tiger and my experience on that board. Now, Aaron and I went down to Oceanside after we got a great phone call from Brent Riley over at JS. Now we haven't had any JS boards in the lineup for a while. So to get a couple boards for us to start the review, especially for this summer series coming up, I've got the Sub-Zero in the new Hi-Fi 2.0 tech, and then I have the Black Baron 2.0 also in the Hi-Fi 2.0 tech. I'm gonna start with both of these boards at Waco. And for me, I wanted to grab a couple boards that I could take there that kind of fit the description of what I'm looking for. Both these boards have kind of that performance outline. I can ride the Black Baron 2.0 purely as a twin fin or run it with a stabilizer. And, the, and I, I'm gonna ride the Sub-Zero as a twin plus trailer. Both these boards look super fast. I think they're gonna go good in the pool and I'm gonna have a blast on them this summer and stoked to have JS back in sending boards. Now, another board I've been getting a ton of requests for review is the Sharpie Inferno FT. I love quads. I've got it in the Dark Art construction and a PU Poly. I'm excited to get on this board. I'm, I am waiting for some waves. I'm not sure I'll take this to the pool. It's a bit longer for me coming in. I think this is a 5.7, but I 
connected with my friend Eddie Lester and we were down surfing the other day in, in subpar conditions, there was a, um, a little bit of um, size, maybe head high or shoulder high. He was absolutely ripping on it. And he's also got it in the dark arts construction. And it wasn't looking like it was hard for him to manage with it being you know topical on the board bouncing around. I would say Eddie's ripping on it. He's gonna join me for the review. I think we're gonna be stoked to get on the Inferno FT pretty quick. Now the next board that I've been putting through the paces at Waco is the Hayden Shape Cohort 2. These guys sent me this board and I've been dying to get the Future Flex construction in the water at the pool because I love how quick it rebounds with the carbon on the rails. The board's pivoting quick. I've been running it with a, my raked thruster set and it's feeling great. The next time I come back to visit Aaron, we're gonna get it in the ocean and we're gonna finish the review and really put it through the paces here in some, some summer waves. I think that board's gonna go great. Now, one of the other boards that's been really fun to ride in Waco is the Chili Peppa Twin. Now, I've been riding the EPS Epoxy at the pool. It's a little bit shorter compared to this stock 5.6. I think it's 5.5, so I can get away with less volume there. However, with it being a pure twin fin, that's the feeling I like under my feet at the pool. I really like how quick it's going top to bottom. I passed the, the board to my buddy Asa, who's been helping me put all these boards through the paces in the pool. And he really liked the Pepper Twin too. I feel like for him, he's a little bit taller than I am and he was a little bit heavier. It was kind of a small for him. However, he was ripping on it and we were both liking the way it's feeling. I can't wait to get this PU Poly in the ocean and give it a go this summer in some good South Swells. Now the last two boards are by Lost. I've got the Mayhem MR Collab, the California Twin Pin in Black Sheep. Now I also have it in PU Poly, but I'm gonna start with this board at the pool. I really feel like it's gonna have that pop and projection. Twin Plus trailer, so fun at the pool, and it fits the right size. Now I haven't got on this board yet, but that board's coming, and I think it's gonna be a blast to ride this summer. And then I've got the collab that Matt Biolis is doing with Duke, IPA. That's called the Puddle Jumper Sting. Now, I just picked this board up. It looks super fun, and I've been surfing with Nate Yeomans a bunch, and he's gonna join me for that review. And every time we've been paddling out, there's been some small junky sessions. He's making the board look fun. He's ripping on it like always. That's gonna be a super fun review for this summer too. Now, this next project, I'm in the process of reviewing the Evolve GTR All Carbon Electric Skateboard. I've been riding it for roughly three weeks, getting used to it, having a blast. Aaron and I just went to Oceanside. They have a showroom there where we got to learn actually from their staff. Joanna actually walked us through the board. What makes it unique? What's so special? We got out there and did some carving together. We're starting to talk about how it feels like surfing. I think you guys are gonna love that review and that's something to look forward to this summer. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is Aaron and I are having a blast. We're working hard to capture this content. We're waking up early, we're getting a surf in, and then we're going to all these different places, not just picking up boards, not just interviewing folks to learn about constructions or a new model or meeting with the Godowskis brothers. We do a lot of editing. I'm answering a ton of questions. This has become our life. And Aaron and I have been talking about, with me being here for three weeks, the cost of me being here I just want to give a special shout out thanks to the support from our patrons. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss an episode, and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.